I feel like the world needs a Python based firmware for 3D printers, so I'm building just that. I have a lot of 3D printers, and most of them run the open source Marlin firmware. With my Sailfish based printer, you have to use a tool like GPX to get it to understand basic G code. To stick to a naming theme, I'm calling my new firmware Chihuahua Fish, because pointy snoutfish seem to be what devs call their firmware. To get things going, I picked up this brainless half built 3D printer from Craigslist. The first error I ran into was an issue with the hardware. The way the belts were run, a filament tube just wouldn't work. As a workaround, I added this fancy sidebar to allow X and Y to move with a filament tube. This is a really odd 3D printer frame, but I'll go with it for now. To control the steppers, I'm using these TB6612 1.2 amp DC breakout boards. We have two stepper motors mounted at the bottom controlling the Z axis. When the Z axis moves, the entire XY assembly moves around. For the brain of the printer, I'm trying out a Raspberry Pi Pico running CircuitPython. I know Python has a lot of overhead, but Python is over in my head, so deal. I found this super handy video that goes into the math of how many steps need taken by which stepper motors. I'm not 100% sure I have it right, but I think I have it calculating the number of steps and the time between those steps. For example, if we want to move the x-axis 10 millimeters and the y 20 millimeters, the x-axis needs to step 941 times and the y needs to step 1882 times. While this does feel like Python in just about every way, threading is not as easy as normal Python, which leads me to want to drive all my stepper motors from a single thread in a single loop. To do so, I needed to combine multiple frequencies made up of the number of steps and the time between steps. First, I tried to create a list of which motors need steps at which time, and then just combine all of those and sort it. Unfortunately, that's rather memory intensive and just too much for this little Pi Pico. Next, I came up with this live version that keeps track of the current times and calculates the next weight and yields which motor needs stepped or the next weight. With that sorted, we can start processing the most basic G-code command, G1. This is the printer stepping in one millimeter on each axis. And stepping back. Chihuahua fish still needs a lot of work, but it's GPL and linked below. Thanks for watching. Bye.